morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word is made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The Five Glorious Mysteries the first mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, provinced children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them as gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Oratio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed us and claimed many lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts and healthcare personnel that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. That in all things God may be adored and glorified. Amen. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us all stand and pray the novena to our mother of perpetual health. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Thank you. 
Please all kneel. Nubina Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, From the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please mention your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this Nubina. We earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying. Give hope to the poor and unemployed. Heal the brokenhearted. Walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queens of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit, and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. 
loving mother pray for us that we may be meek and humble of heart like your son jesus loving mother pray for us that we may fear losing god's friendship forever by unrepented sin loving mother pray for us that we may seek christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance loving mother pray for us that we may be aware of god is speaking to us in the events of daily life loving mother pray for us that we may pray daily with love and trust especially in moments of temptation loving mother pray for us that we may understand the value of worshiping god together in the eucharist loving mother pray for us that we may grow in the love of christ and neighbor by frequent communion loving mother pray for us that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the holy spirit loving mother pray for us that we may strive to be true christians by our loving concern for others loving mother pray for us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously loving mother pray for us that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us loving mother pray for us that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others loving mother pray for us that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods loving mother pray for us that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community loving mother pray for us that we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service loving mother pray for us that the holy spirit may guide and strengthen pope francis the bishops and the clergy loving mother pray for us that we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations loving mother pray for us that we may care and protect god's creation loving mother pray for us that we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death loving mother pray for us that there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world loving mother pray for us that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know him loving mother pray for us that we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements loving mother pray for us that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our heavenly father loving mother pray for us that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen lord loving mother pray for us that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection loving mother pray for us let us pray in silence for our own intentions holy mary pray for us pray for all the people of god may all experience god's perpetual help lord you gave us mary to be our mother ever ready to help us grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs amen please all stand
Please kneel. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that, the, that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them, we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially to the Nubina, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially silently remember your sick loved ones. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed. Today is Wednesday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you. And I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had the vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven. And on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning rumblings and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man. 
and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night, they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breathed praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Alleluia. 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 I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, a nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins, and told them, Engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him, and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining, obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful to this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, your gold coin, sir, had earned five more. And to his servant, to he said, You take up a five cities. Then the other servants came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words, I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. 
You know I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servants who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That gospel strike a string or something in me every time I read it because <clears throat> there was a time when Bishop Sok told me that I will be moved from, from a parish to another parish. Tapos yung nung ikaw ay seminarista, pinagdadasal mo, sana huwag ako ma-assign dyan, huwag ako ma-assign dyan. Ano? Natutunan ko sa Diyos yun, yung anong ayaw mo, yan ang binibigay sa iyo. Kaya lahat ngayon gusto ko na. Ano po? Ha? Ayaw ko ma-assign dyan. Nung sinabi niya sa akin, ang tanong niya ay, kumusta ka? Mabuti naman po. Masaya ka ba? Opo. Siyempre, palagi ka masaya pag tinatanong ka ng obispo. Masaya ka ba? Opo. Diba? Sabi nga pala ng kardinal, inililipat ka sa ganong parokya. Ay, ayaw ko talaga yun. Anyway, hindi na ako mimik. Sabi niya, ano nangyayari sa'yo? Ba't parang nawala ang saya mo? Diba? At tanong mo na lang, kailan po ba? Kailan po ba lilipat? But that was not the problematic. I mean, what was more hurting, or I, I would say what was more discouraging, is when wala pa naman yung appointment, <clears throat> wala pa nakakaalam. I believe wala pa nakakaalam. Ano pa? Somebody called from the, from the parish that I will be move, moving in. Sabi niya, pwede po ba makausap si Father Dave? Sabi ko, ito po si Father Dave. Sabi, Father Dave, ako po si Ganon. At ako po ay taga ganong parokya. Hindi ko nasasabihin yung parokya. Ako po ay taga ganong parokya. Sabi ko, ano po may paglilingkod ko sa inyo? Sabi niya kaagad sa akin, balita po namin kayo po ay ma-assign dito sa amin. Tapos sabi ko, oh, ako? Diba? Sabi, opo. Tapos sabi niya, gusto ko lang kong sabihin sa inyo na ayaw namin sa inyo. Gusto ko sabihin, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> Kaya lang, ayaw mo lang pumunta doon. Hindi ko pa lumilipat. Sinasabihin ka nila, ayaw ko nila. Di wag, hindi po ba ano? Pero siyempre, susundin mo yung obispo mo. Kaya wala tumanggap sa akin. Dumating ako doon. Well, mayroong ilang taong na nakitang dumating ako, tinulungan ako magbuhat na aking mga, na aking mga damit. Ano pa. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, kaya nga palaging paalala, you should never desire to please people. 
you should never desire to be accepted by people. Because even God was rejected by people. You should not compromise your principles, your belief. But you can never be wrong in obedience. As I have said this many times, there are things you cannot, you will not be, you will not like. But you can never be wrong in obedience. Especially, especially when you are in a position that you need to obey. What is the first reading trying to tell us? The beauty, perhaps, of what is in store for you. Alam po ninyo, hindi pa ako pari. I think one of the graces that I receive from God is the grace perhaps to pray or to talk to God. There are times when by prayer I would simply sit in the roof yung amin po kasing tinitirhan noon yung second floor pag binuksan mo yung bintana pwede kang pumunta doon sa bubong ano pa that's the that's the most solace solace place I can go where no one can see you praying sometimes sometimes I cry there wala kang wala kang wala naman makakakita so okay lang ano pa you cry Sometimes you smile in your prayer. But that is one of the graces, looking back, looking back. Where I can pray and talk to God. And I can, second, that I can speak to God how I feel. How I feel. And that is a grace for me. That, yes, I kept the reverence, but still I can pray and I can express my emotions and how I feel. I can grumble. I know I'm not entitled to anything. But still, I can express myself. I can still express myself. And third, the grace to feel that God is listening to you. The grace to feel that God is listening to you. Again, the grace to pray the grace to express how you feel, you grumble, you can be angry. I believe it was a grace. Third, third, I think that is the most, one of the most beautiful thing of those who are praying. When you feel that God is listening to you, sometimes you don't need answers. You need someone to listen to you. And it's a grace that you can feel that God is listening to you. And fourth, that is about the first reading. That when you are down, or maybe when you are so up, so excited, God was able to give me a vision of what will happen. Maybe an idea of what will happen. Maraming pangyayari sa buhay ko na ganun. Na lugmok, I would say lugmok, ano pa? Sad-sad ang uso sa lupa, ano pa? When you hit rock bottom, worse than the sometimes the only thing you can do is kneel. This is worse than kneeling. But still God has given me the grace to be able to see beyond the suffering. And that is very consoling. That is very consoling. It gives hope when no one can give you hope. And I would like you to ask this grace from God. Don't just pray the formulated prayer, the prayer that you memorize. Ano pa? Learn to pray. Learn to pray and confident enough to talk to your God. Because what is prayer? What is prayer when there's no relationship? 
What is prayer when you are unable to say what you want to say? What is prayer when you don't feel being heard? And what is prayer if you're unable to see perhaps what is beyond? Natanggalan ka ng trabaho, nawalan ka ng bahay, magsabi kayo, anong meron ka? If there's no hope and God will not give you a vision of what will happen if you go on. I think that is one of the graces or many, many graces I have received from God. Kaya nga, pag hindi mo kilala ang Diyos, wala kang relasyon sa Diyos, the opposite will happen to you in the gospel. In the gospel. Kahit mangampanya ka dyan, sabihin mo sa mga tao, huwag kayo maniwala dyan. Kahit kayong lahat, ha? sa mundong ito magsasabing hindi totoo ang Diyos, hindi kayo mananalo. Hindi kayo mananalo. Kahit ikaw magsabi kang magmura ka tungkol sa Diyos at may tagatawa ka dyan, hindi ka mananalo sa Diyos. Hindi ka mananalo sa Diyos. Alam ng Diyos yan na pagdating sa huli, you will be made accountable for what God has given you. Ninais mo ang prosesyon na yan, then you will be held accountable before God. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, remember that. Do not forget that. Put that in your brains. That whatever you have, my dear brothers and sisters, you will be held accountable before God. And you can never justify yourselves before God. That's the two extreme. That's the two extreme. It's either you are for God or against God. If you are for God, with God, ask for the graces or the grace that you're able to pray, that you are confident enough in your prayers, you are able to express your prayers, yourselves, because you have a relationship, the grace that you know that God is listening to you in spite of, and fourth, God will give you the vision what is ahead of you. Maybe it's also a good vision of what will happen to you as you despise God and, and unable, unable to produce from the gifts that God has given you. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water in wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you, 
and gain for us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, For although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving, it's itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints of Plesio throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families. Peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant you unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And we draw Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those who are receiving communion, kindly make two lines, kindly follow the stickers on the floor.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you. A nest of love. Stay with me, Lord, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the keep of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord. For it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for a new Archbishop for the Archdiocese of Manila. Heavenly Father, you have blessed our Archdiocese time and again with good, holy, learned, and wise shepherds who have led us ever closer to you. Aware of your profound love for us, we ask you to bless us once again and send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious, and laity, to work generously with him so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Please rise. We continue to pray for the repose of the souls of our departed brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord, listen to our prayers for our departed brothers and sisters whose names we remember today. Kindly mention their names. They have always desired to do your will, so in your mercy forgive whatever wrong they have done. By their faith they were united with all your believing people. Now in love and mercy give them a place with your angels and saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In vocation, let our response be, Lord, save your people. Lord, save your people. By your coming as man, Lord, save your people. By your birth, Lord, save your by people. By your baptism and fasting, Lord, save your by people. By your suffering and cross, Lord, save your by people. By your death and burial, Lord, save your by people. By your rising to new life, Lord, save your by people. By your return in glory to the Father, Lord, save your by people. By your gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord, save your people. By your coming again in glory, Lord, save your people. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon May them. they rest in peace. Amen. We will be praying for them, for the repose of the souls of our departed brothers and sisters until this Saturday. Until this Saturday. Because this coming Saturday is already the eve of the solemnity of Christ the King. Ang bilis ng araw. Pagkatapos nun, Advent na. Ano pa? This coming Sunday, we will have a special prayers for all those who are celebrating their wedding anniversary for this month of November. Ano pa? So yung mga nagdiriwang na anniversaryo, we will have a special blessing for you. I would like to express my gratitude for those who are making contributions, offerings for the repair of our roofing. Ano pa? Hindi naman ho sira. Hindi naman ho nilipad ng bagyo. Ano pa? Tumulo lang. Ano pa? So, nire-repair at we na waterproofing po ano po we na waterproofing it is we are preparing it also because we will we will we will be putting a plick i do not know how to describe it a plick in our ceiling uh, para naman pag tumingala ka sa simbahan namin hindi yung malaking electric pa na nakikita mo may makikita kang iba a plick it will be done after the roofing. Hopefully, it will be finished before Christmas. Para naman kahit may pandemic, mayroon tayong something concrete, physical na 
na paggawa na po. Anyway, maraming maraming salamat. And for those who have been sharing their love offerings, may the Lord bless you more. Maraming salamat po. Going back to what I've said, prayer is always about relationship. It is a relationship. It is not about the words you say. It's about you and your God. And it is a grace that you will be given a chance to pray. It is a grace that you're able to express what is in your heart. Not necessarily what is in your mind, what is in your heart. God listens to what is in your heart. Third, it is a grace to know that God is listening to you. And fourth, it is the grace to see beyond what is happening to you now. To see beyond what is happening to you now. Whether you are happy or where you, whether you are sad, you are in rock bottom. It is always a grace to see what is beyond. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pahabol lang, may mga magulang na nagpapadasal sa mga anak nila na merong dengue. I hope walang, walang, pero I think kailangang, kailangang maghanda. Ano pa? Baka dala ito ng mga naipong tubig, dala ng bagyo, ano po? So, marami nagpapadasal ng kanilang mga anak may dengue. Ingat po kayo. God bless.